all of this has been restocked. Um, we lost the entire first floor. Twice this year, the Hastings Furniture Charity has been thigh deep in water, submerged after torrential rain. Downpours will become more common and more intense as the climate changes in future. Our next building really ought to be on stilts. We've got another property over in the next town along in Bex Hill that also flooded, not on the same weekend, on a separate weekend. Um, so, you know, I yeah, definitely maybe have a, a bit of a ramp up to the next building. Britain isn't built to withstand increasingly extreme weather. Sky News and the risk analysis ClimateX looked at over 22,000 key buildings and structures that the nation depends on to see how they fared at two different future climates. One where average temperatures rise 1.6 degrees after rapid cuts to greenhouse emissions and the other where they rise 4.3 degrees because of minimal action. So first up, will the lights stay on? Well, Pembroke and Staythorpe power stations provide electricity to nearly 7 million homes. If temperatures rise by 1.6 degrees, then Pembroke is likely to flood every 60 years and Staythorpe every 40 by the end of the century. But if they climb 4.3 degrees, then Pembroke could flood every 42 years and Staythorpe every 17. What about public transport? Well, ClimateX mapped the risk to more than 2,000 rail and tube stations. If temperatures rose by 1.6 degrees, then by the end of the century, 61% would be a risk from storms, seen here in dark blue, and 18% from subsidence, that's in green. But with slower climate action, then that increases to almost 100% for storm damage and around 28% for subsidence. In every category of infrastructure that ClimateX looked at, the risks increase with rising temperatures. You can see that clearly in the charts. That's power facilities and rail and tube stations again, but also airports and motorway junctions. More are at higher risk of at least one climate hazard in the year 2100 without rapid reduction in carbon emissions. The UK government has delayed some climate action to save money, but the researchers warn if other countries do the same, there could be higher long-term costs in shoring up and repairing infrastructure. Going to net zero is expensive, but it's a lot cheaper than doing nothing in the long run. The train station you go to every day to get to work, if that's going to be flooded, it's going to impact you. The more severe the warming is, the higher the warming is, the more frequent those events are going to happen. The government said it has a five-year plan to increase the country's resilience to climate risks, with billions being spent on adaptation measures. Thomas Moore, Sky News.